Hi, Emmanuel here with T2S Transform to Succeed. In this uh, video, I would say in the series of videos, I will be sharing with you on how you can create a hybrid network. And creating a, first of all, you have to understand what, what is a hybrid network. A hybrid network, it's a type of network that you set up which will allow your the resources that you have on the premises meaning your on the prem meaning your your physical location whatever resources you have there and then you have other resources in the cloud so you want to allow these two uh, places to communicate these two networks to communicate and how do you bridge that so that's what we'll be talking about in this series of videos, how you can create that hybrid um, a network, meaning that you're not using 100, uh, you're not using fully the cloud uh, platform. And in this case, it's going to be AWS or fully the you're, you're on the prem uh, uh, network. So you want to bridge them. You want to use both. Uh, like it could be 75% of your stuff, it's on your, in your physical or geographical location or physical location and 25 in the cloud or vice versa. So it depends on what you want to accomplish. And to do this, I'm going to walk you through five steps. Step number one, step number one, what we'll be doing each, first of all, each step will be a separate and individual video 15 to 20 minutes to walk you through how you can accomplish the, the by, uh, this task of creating a hybrid uh, network so step number one we create a VPC which is virtual private cloud you create that and then you have to configure the VPC to allow traffic in and out of your uh, virtual uh, private cloud and that's the first step that's where you start first you create your own virtual private cloud in the cloud and then the next uh, step what we're gonna do we will establish then a secure connection uh, between your uh, what you have in the cloud uh, to what you have uh, what you have in your uh, what you have in your uh, on your in your physical location, like your building on the prime and stuff like that. So you do that, but we can achieve this uh, using two options here. Uh, number one, uh, you do it using a VPN, a virtual private network. You use a VPN, meaning that you will have to create a few resources to allow your virtual private cloud to co begin communi communicating with your net the network that you have on the premises meaning in your uh, physical uh, location so the second option that you can use on how to establish that secure connection between your cloud the resources that you have in the cloud and the resources that you have on your uh, in your physical location uh, the second way to do it is by using the AWS Direct Connect. And then we'll talk about that as well, which will be a separate video or demo that I will share with uh, you. And then step number three. Step number three, you also have two options here, meaning that now after establishing the connection between your cloud the resources that you have in your cloud or your cloud network with your your physical uh, network or on the prem network or resources now you have it you have to decide how do you now uh, how do you do you set up your file storage meaning that how do you, you do you want data to move from the on prem on the prem resources to the cloud resources and vice versa Number one, you can uh, use uh, the Amazon S3 bucket. That would be one way, and we'll talk about that, meaning that you create your bucket, 
and then you have to configure access permissions. And the second option for the uh, third step is, I mean, you can use the Amazon um, uh, Elastic File System or File Server, which will allow you to uh, mount, uh, first you, you, cre you create that file system in the cloud, and then you next you're gonna have to mount whatever your resources from your local network that you want to use and communicate with whatever resources that you have in the cloud. So, and that, that will be our uh, third video. And then the, the fourth video, we're gonna talk about how do you now make sure that you have the necessary software or programs on your local system so that you can manage this hybrid network. Uh, we'll talk about the AWS CLI command line interface that you may need to install on your system. We're gonna talk about the, the VPN client that you may, uh, software that you may also need to uh, install on, on your local uh, systems uh, on the prem so that they allow communication with the cloud network. And the, the other tools that you may, you're gonna need could be something like an S3, uh, the S3 command. Uh, you're gonna need uh, R sync. You're gonna need uh, SSH to, uh, which is secure shell, to access your the, the, the different resources, especially uh, uh, if you have servers on the cloud and you want to access those and and manage uh, all of them. And 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 that's pretty much what we'll be doing in this uh, in this series and which is which is a very good uh, exposure to have to the the different uh, and, and the very important uh, resources on on AWS so thank you thank you so much and I hope to see you in the next video in the meantime remain blessed <music>